Welcome to this video on Asperger's Syndrome, a complex neurodevelopmental disorder. In this video, I will discuss what Asperger's Syndrome is, the signs and symptoms of Asperger's Syndrome, the parts of the brain that are affected by Asperger's Syndrome, I'll talk about Asperger's from child to adult, and the different treatment options for Asperger's Syndrome. What is Asperger's Syndrome? Asperger's Syndrome is categorized as an Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, and is considered the mildest, least severe form of autism. There is no known cause for Asperger's Syndrome, nor is there a cure for this lifelong disease. Often diagnosed in children, this developmental disorder is usually seen in children beginning at the ages of 3 to 10 years old, showing a variety of symptoms. These symptoms can vary from person to person, although these general areas are often what categorize this complex neurodevelopmental disorder. A significant impairment in social interactions is the first noticeable sign of Asperger's syndrome. These children show difficulty in making friends, lack eye contact, can often speak with a lack of rhythm or monotone, and some make very few facial expressions. They find it very difficult to express or relate to others' emotions or feelings, lacking empathy. Even in children, they could have difficulty understanding humor, and oftentimes seem to others as being insensitive. Some behavioral signs that can be seen early in childhood are that they develop fixated interests and behaviors with objects, movements, or activities, and an excessive attachment to routines. Someone with Asperger's may show an intense preoccupation or obsession with a single restricted topic of interest and memorize or gather enormous amounts of factual information about it, such as baseball or bugs. A person who has Asperger's will have a very difficult time with change and can oftentimes get upset from bright lights, loud noises, or strong tastes and textures. They can also sometimes have a harder time with motor skills, such as riding a bike, or display repetitive motor mannerisms, such as finger twisting or snapping. What parts of the brain are affected by Asperger's syndrome? In order to find the particular cells that are affected by Asperger's syndrome, we have to take a look at the most complex organ in the human body, the brain. The areas of the brain mainly affected have to do with communication, obsessive routines, and physical clumsiness. There are so many millions of neurons and parts of the brain working together on a cellular level, it is difficult to pinpoint all that relate to Asperger's, but these are the most general. In the cerebral cortex, responsible for higher mental functions such as movement, perception, and behavioral reactions. The basal ganglia, which helps regulate automatic movement. The corpus callosum, which are closely packed fibers connecting the right and left hemispheres of the brain and allows them to communicate. In the cerebellum, where fine-tuning motor activity takes place, regulating balance and coordination. The hippocampus part of the brain that remembers new information and recent events. And lastly, the amygdala, which is responsible for all emotional responses, including aggressive behavior. Another major factor to note are the disconnections between thinking and feeling and empathy. The empathy circuits are a very complex system involving many different areas of the brain. Children and adolescents with Asperger's syndrome may require special education due to their social and behavioral difficulties, but many can attend regular education classes. Some adolescents exhibit ongoing difficulty with self-care, organization, and disturbances in social or romantic relationships, and the feeling of being different can often be traumatic. Anxiety and depression can often result with the reliance on obsessions and routines, or stress from being placed in a situation without a clear schedule or expectation. 
Although there are people with Asperger's syndrome that due to their high cognitive potential do marry and are able to work successfully in mainstream jobs into adulthood, adults with Asperger's syndrome may make great intellectual contributions. Despite their difficulties and struggles growing up, many can have positive outcomes and learn to excel in areas less dependent on social interactions, such as mathematics, music, and the sciences. Adults may always, however, need to continually work on many daily living skills that many of us take for granted. Although there are no prevention measures for this disorder, early diagnosis and intervention can minimize the delays in development for a child, which can have a very positive impact on long-term prognosis. Although there is no cure for Asperger's, there are a wide variety of helpful treatments that can help people learn better social skills and communication cues to aid them in leading a fairly typical life with friends and loved ones. Most professionals agree that the earlier the intervention, the better. These treatments include individual psychotherapy, which is focused on social skills training and how to deal with the emotions surrounding this disorder. An effective treatment program could incorporate the child's interests, parent education and training, behavioral modification, and educational interventions. There are also psychiatric medications that may help certain situations, depending on the person. Psychostimulants can be prescribed for hyperactivity, inattention, or impulsivity. Mood stabilizers, beta blockers, or neuroleptics can help with irritability or aggression. And certain SSRI medications can help with anxiety or depression, depending on the severity of the specific case. Although people with Asperger's syndrome may always find social situations and personal relationships challenging, with effective treatment and continual moral support and encouragement, they can learn to cope and maintain an independent life. This is a list of my references. Thank you very much for watching.